Hey, uh, Dave on bass, back for week eight of learning to tap. <clears throat> and last week uh, was such a tough one that um, I'm just going to continue on that one for this week because I'm still trying to get that one up to speed. And then just like with the slapping video this week, I'm kind of using a five string this week, which um, I think slapping and tapping is a little easier on a four string for me i got very small hands and then when you get down into the lower strings on a five um, the fingering becomes interesting to me because i got to think about it when i'm tapping anyway um so like the 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 line that we're working on which is from the book tapestry this here book here um fantastic book you should go buy it and the link is in the um uh, the description of this video but um the line is <laughs> taking that into all the different strings and uh, doing it a lot faster than that. So uh, one of the things he mentions in there is one finger per fret, which is great if you've got hands that are big enough for one finger per fret. I mean, you know, you get down here, this is a big stretch for me. Um, uh, my stepson plays bass and that's nothing for him. He could easily do that, but uh, you know, his hands go this far longer than mine. Um, so when I get down here, I, I tend to use upright bass fingering, which is, and that third note I use two fingers for, and then just what I've done for years. And, uh, and so when it comes to tapping, you get down here onto the A, I want my my tendency is to want to go to that pinky finger, and uh, I can still use one finger per fret there. Till there, then I usually go to the pinky. Um, but on the E, I can't. I got a pretty much default to the pinky, which is different fingering than all the rest of them. And I only need to do that, I think, on a five string, because I haven't really thought about it, but I think on the four string, because the neck is smaller, I can get my fingers around and still keep it one finger per fret. These are all the little nuances that come up when you're trying to work on something new like this that you don't even have to think about if you're just playing normal. Um, so why don't I just play normal and forget about the whole damn thing? I don't know, because it's challenging and who doesn't like that? So, um, so right now I'm working on, on this line on all the strings and then I'm trying to incorporate the E and the B even though he really doesn't talk about it yet much in the book. He's just using the first three strings and he tunes the A to B flat, which is what we did last week. Um, I'm trying to work on it on all five strings and, and get them up to tempo. So right now I've been kind of comfortable at 150. I'm gonna back it off because I was trying it a little faster. That was exciting dead air. Yee. Anyway, here we go. This is 150 and uh, all the strings. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
to stop. So, uh, so you know, that one I'm fairly comfortable with, you know. I'm, I'm not perfect there, but I can get through all the strings and, you know. Eh. So then uh, I'm working on 170. I usually have a drink before we go to 170, so mine's water, but you can feel free to knock one back right now if you want to. So I got screwed up on the B there because I got into my own head. And that's what happens with this, you know, as you speed it up, your mind kind of speeds up and you think, oh my God, I gotta go fast. It's And I'm gonna screw it up and then you do. Um, you know, you, it's just such a mental thing. You gotta get your mind calm when you're doing that, you know? And, and it just, and it'll just come. And that's something that comes with practice. You practice it, you practice it, the muscle movement, and it just, you know, you get faster and faster. Um, maybe by this time next week, the 170 is just gonna be easy to me, and I'll be on 190, which is what I'm, I'm trying next here. We'll see how far I get with that. goal is to get to 250 which is what it gets to on the uh, on the uh, recording that comes with the book so just for the heck of it I'm gonna try 210 for just the G maybe the D is the ultimate goal. Must be a better way to get that done. My mind is racing. I, I can't even fathom that right now. So, um, but in a couple weeks, I'm betting that I'm doing it. So, and I wouldn't be doing it unless I practice it. And so, you know, if you're practicing along at home, kids, this is where we're at. 
So get out your metronome and start tapping, and we'll see you next week.